word you want to say? Bye. Wow. <laughs> oh, so I think I think it's working. Yeah. <sighs> oh God. Good. So it just didn't have enough power, I guess. I guess not. What'd you say? I said that smell will go away. It's just because it's brand new. brand new. At least it's finally getting done. Yeah. We can put the space heaters away. <laughs> yes. All, all winter, not all winter. Is it in all winter? Yeah. Well, most of it, yeah. Yeah, most of it. We've had space heaters. <laughs> yeah. Come on, it's green light. Come and catch me. Yeah, it got hot quick, huh? I'm going to turn it down to 71. Okay. Yes! Okay, here I'm going That one is? Yeah. He's thinking naturalist isn't a thing. He's thinking of saying like the most naturalist. Like bad <laughs> English, but he doesn't think it's a thing. Yeah, I think because it's like natural. Or the I don't know what table they go with. Well, it'll be another time to furniture shop, but let's go grab what we came here for. So this is what I need. Um, it went up. It $11. was like seven dollars. It used to be seven dollars. <laughs> Those are so cute. Well, how are you? Like for decoration. Oh, really? Ciao. Yeah. Well, you can do certain things with them, like put plants inside, or you know. It's like the boho type so island. I think we're gonna do three. What are you doing? <laughs> that child is gonna be. <laughs> oh, you don't like it? Oh, thanks. I want to smell it. Smell it. Hi. Oh, Jesus. What does that smell? Ooh! It's just strong. It's <laughs> strong. <laughs> These things are great because they're stackable. Yeah. But. Yeah, see the grits in the end. Katya, where are we going to put this? So just that would be $33. More. On top. <laughs> we can you know, lay this. To put it on top we can lay this part across. These. I'm trying to rest. You're trying to rest. But then whoever's driving won't be able to see. Are you okay in there? <laughs> Good, you're so Good. I went all around just to come back here. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. Oh, mommy oh. Let's see that you have what I'm looking for. I'll probably get her in my Yeah, wow. Oh, okay. They're supposed to come apart like oh, that. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. See, look, that is cute. And so we're up that area in the laundry room. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, this That's nice too. Yeah. These are the colors I'm going for. Oh, look at like the bamboo basket. Type, bamboo type color with You did the basket. black and bamboo basket. Mm -hmm. and, and then a whole bunch of Maybe things. that one. This yeah. one? The bottom Sorry. does come out, so you I can know, clean it. Fun. That's awesome. But I think that's the only one. I don't know, maybe there's somewhere else. Another or maybe stone. like these. I don't know if you like those. Yeah, we'll see. What did you say? This is my house. This is your house. You have something in your face. Let me see. It's 
And this is where I sleep. This is where you sleep? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all, she made herself a bed. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go home. If everything goes well, I should I should be able to come and pick you up. Okay. But if not, I'll text. So you're leaving us, huh? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you guess. Yeah. Any words you want to say? Why? Wow. <laughs> I wonder how Jabin and Ellie are going to do. Because they're going to go with Dad. Yeah. I will be at the gym. Hopefully the gym isn't too busy. Ooh, it's tank! The cow. Ooh! Country living, boy. I know. Have you ever smelled country manure? Oh my gosh. It's different. It, <laughs> it hit different. It hit different. I remember the first time I smelled it, boy. <laughs> I was, we, Daddy and I were dating. <laughs> That's and, a horrible date. <laughs> I didn't want to go no, out. We yes. were, no, we were dating. And I came to... Um, and I was coming to visit him. It was my turn to come Ooh. see him. Because uh, you guys were seeing each other like every week. <laughs> yeah, every other day. Yeah. Every other day. Probably. Oh my god. Anyways. I turn onto his country road. I'm like, what is that smell? I knew it had something to do with manure, but I was like, where is that coming from? I lived in the city most of Sewer. my life. So I think I'm thinking they're working on a, you know, S septic tank somewhere or something a lid is open nope so <laughs> i remember calling him and say hey where's your house again and he's uh directing me because it was like in the evening winter time so like you know how it gets darker sooner yeah i hope his house doesn't smell like that. <laughs> <And> <laughs> it no it didn't it was well insulated that it didn't smell like that i was like there's no way i can survive this smell guys it was the first time I was in the country. So then I asked them when I um, came in, I was like, hey, what is that smell? I'm glad it's not in your house, but what is that smell? He's like, oh, the farmers are spreading the I, I was like, oh, missing. yeah, that, that was normal. But anyway, country living? Boy. Mm -mm. It's good because you have everything to yourself. Like, you get to be by yourself, but not for that. I love it, but I don't like the stench. I know. It's all animals. I don't like my uh, internet not working. <laughs> I know, right? At times, yeah. Do you guys have any major events going on? Not at the... I don't think so. Okay. In a... Is it next week? I know a couple of we days. We should have breakfast together too. Like, a, like kind of what we did. All like four of us? Yeah, but we'll have our own booth. <laughs> but the thing is, she's in school school. You know what I mean? Like you're home school, so I can pull you out. But she works during the weekend. I can't, I'll mention it to her. No. Oh, yeah. We'll miss you. <clears throat> I know last time, last time you left, <laughs> Jabin had a hard time functioning. We had to say, she'll be back. She's okay. Really? Yeah. Uh, Ellie doesn't really. She's she always like, I miss you. Who? Jabin. He really does. Like, we have to tell him, buddy. She's not gone forever now. She's just, she'll be back. He doesn't like what the family is like. Split apart. Yeah. We all got our own stuff going on. He, yeah, he, it's not his MO. It, it, because it's. Mm -mm. Not please, road, please now, know. what are you doing? Uh, eh, eh, with children, all black. Oh, Jesus. Yo, put some clothes on. No popo around here. Jesus <laughs> is God. <laughs> no popo. <laughs> See ya. Uh, I'll see you. Have fun. Do you know her? Yeah, she goes to work. Oh, okay. Have a good time. You too. Okay. I gotta make sure she gets in there. <laughs> we don't play them games. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead, head over to the gym. Oh, put your lights on! Really? This this dude is in a black truck with no lights on. I'm gonna go in and get it popping. I don't have to rush because I have like three hours.
Y'all, the gym kicked my behind, but I am home. Bella's home. And I'm um, just going to put some stuff away. I stopped at Walmart quick. And then, hey, and then continue on our day. How was it? I know we didn't get a chance to talk. We were both tired. Yeah, I actually do have to talk to you about something. Really? Yeah. Okay. Everything okay? Yeah. Mm. I'm eating. Oh, what do you eat? Sausage. Oh. <laughs> so today when I went to the event that I went to, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, there was an announcement before things started. Mm -hmm. Um, and I've been going to this place for a little while. And the like leader of it, he was like, There have been some things going on mm -hmm. and two things I want to mention. He's like, first is a little bit of housekeeping. Okay. He mentioned three things. He said like that there has been like the disturbing of other people's property. Oh, people can't keep their hands to so, Okay. So like, I don't know if you it's haven't like, been touching people's stuff. No. Well, I <laughs> gotta I deal ask. with that I because I deal with that. So oh yeah, I know with how the it feels. Ellie. Yeah. No, not that. Like people in general. Oh. Don't know how to keep their hands to oh. Okay. No, not Ellie. And then um, what I don't else do you If she does it. Um, he said something about either inappropriate conversations or topics. Some something inappropriate. Okay. But then, you weren't in this. He's mm -hmm. talking to everybody. Are you talking? Everybody okay. was there. All okay. the ages. Were there. He, so he's addressing everybody, not just your your uh -uh, group. Okay. Not my group. It was okay. everyone. All right. I mean, uh, believe it or not, the whole room is quiet while he's saying this. Like no one's talking. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm I'm pretty sure they all know about it. But and then something like cheating people that have a business or something. Not like that type of cheating. Like, <laughs> um. I don't know. I didn't know what he said. He said something to do with the business. And, like, this isn't just, like, 7th grade kids my age. It's, like, 12th graders, too. Oh, yeah. So yeah. they could have their own business. I can't remember exactly what he said. Like, taking advantage of people? Yeah, I think uh, so. I don't know. Um, well, you ain't got no business, so. <laughs> yeah. So, and then the last thing he said was the one that kind of made me feel, like, upset. Like, the other things, I'm like, okay, that's bad, but... Mm -hmm. I wasn't involved in this. I don't know what's going on. So it's just like, eh. And then the last thing he said, he said, we also had someone here get called the N-word. So in that moment, I kind of felt a little bit, I don't know. It was, it was weird. Because mm -hmm. first of all, I am, I'm not even capping, guys. I'm like the only black person there. M majority of the time that I'm there, I'm the only black person there. In your class? Yes. In my group, or in your yes, group. Okay. I'm the only black girl there. Okay. But you're not the only black person. I have or seen half black four people. other melanated people. Okay. And usually it's only one at a time. Okay. Um, how did that make you feel? At the moment, I felt a little bit alone because it's me and a bunch of Caucasian kids. Mm -hmm. Um. I mean, there's other races thrown in there, but it's like one or two. Okay. Um, Why did you feel alone? Why? Because it's kind of like, I mean, I felt for that person at the same time, but it's mm -hmm. kind of like, I'm the I'm the minority here. So yeah. it's like, I don't know. And like, how could that one person stand up for themselves to whoever was saying that to them? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think it's fair. <sighs> like, and I mean, guys, I've dealt with stuff during other things. I've like other places I've gone. Oh, you mean choir? Mm hmm. So, this isn't, I mean. Oh, like someone touching your hair? Yeah, or saying stuff to other people or me. Yeah. Um, I mean, it hasn't been that extreme. I don't think it's been that extreme. Um, but I don't know. I feel like it's these, like, people who think that they can do whatever. Like, what would you say? Entitled? Like, mm -hmm. what's it to you if I do this, this, and this? Like, yeah. even if it's your hair or your stuff. I don't know. I just, yeah. I'm sorry. It made me upset. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry that happened. Mm -hmm. um. I mean, it doesn't affect <gasps> me, but I feel bad for whoever went through it. And My initial reaction is obviously, like... Anger. Yeah. Like, upset, annoyed, especially because of the setting you were in. Mm-hmm. It's a Christian setting, and that is a place where you should feel most safe and not alone. Uh, I know 
people are like, you're naive and whatever. But as for me, how I believe, how I, I feel and, and believe Christian environment should be, it just should be the most be inviting, like warm, like I don't yeah. have to worry about anything because in the long run, this is my family. Right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, if you read about the apostles getting together, yeah, like someone shows up at your house, you're instantly making dinner. It's not like yeah, you feel comfortable with them. You can tell them whatever. It's I don't know. It's it's a little stressful because we are in rural America, but nevertheless, I just expect more for from people that say they are Christ-like. I'm not saying people don't make you know mistake, right. but for me, it's like that word you've had to have. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So to me, it's like, what is in your heart that's causing you to say things? And, you know, another thing I thought about is like, one day we're going to have to give an account for every idle word we spoke. Mm -hmm. um, and words are powerful. That's why we have to be careful with them. Because can you think about giving account for everything you've ever said? Yeah, that's hard. That's hard to, you know, and I hope at the end of the day that his heart or her heart, whoever said it, uh, gets transformed because there are no rules that can be put in place because people are bound to break rules. It has to be someone has to have a heart transformation mm -hmm. and I can't do it. <laughs> I wish I could. I can't do it. I can't change somebody's heart. Um, it has to be God. It has to be the Holy Spirit. Yeah. So. Also, after he announced whatever happened with someone who was calling he? names. Oh, the leader. The leader. Okay. The leader. Um, like, I don't know. What was I going to say? I mean, I had it and then I forgot it. His response or no, how he it was, behaved? It was something I he was thinking. He said something else? It was something I was thinking. I know oh, that. I can't uh, remember what it was. I forgot it. <laughs> Did you think like, what would I do in that situation? That was or... that was that was something I thought though. Like, how am I supposed to react? I've never been called that, like straight to my face. Mm -hmm. I mean, people could have said it behind my back about me, but I've never been. I've never witnessed like harsh racism straight to my face. Yeah. But so in that moment, like he was praying after, and I'm. Who, I, who I was praying? Focusing. Oh, your the leader, leader okay. and some other people were praying. And praying for what? Uh, about people who were going o overseas. Oh, to I see. Some I stuff. see. I see. Okay. Um. And I, I, I could barely focus on the prayer. I'm thinking, how would I react if I was in that situation? Because I don't know. It's like, how? What are you supposed to say if someone just goes straight up to you and says, "You are X, Y, and Z"? Like, oh, well, I know how I, mean, I handle stuff. But <laughs> like at this moment, I'm so upset. Like, I probably shouldn't tell you, but. Um, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh, uh, I think I remember what I was going to say. What are people thinking about me when I'm just going about my own business? Like, what's, what do you mean? What's running through other people's heads? That's about none me? of your business. I know, but what other like, people think of you is so like, none of your business. I know, but I'm saying like, if they're saying that to other people, like it made me feel like insecure and like I didn't it made you feel there it, uh, because that's a it's perspective. like if, other people are thinking about this about this. Come other close. Are you? Are if you? people are thinking about this other melanated kid that way, come then a little bit closer. I feel like you were, yeah, in the background. Can, yeah. Well, yeah. If people are talking about like talk, telling this kid that they he is or she is that. Mm -hmm. Like, what are they thinking about me? And am I next? I mean, <laughs> I don't know. It felt awkward because it's like, I mean, how many of them like? How many of them feel this way? About melanated people. Like... I'm sure a lot. My thing is, it, it eventually comes out. Right. Uh, I guess you have to prepare in your heart. Mm -hmm. um, ask God what your response should be. Like I said, mine is... I got my issues. <laughs> um, so, we can also talk later, but... Mm -hmm. um, yeah, all I wanted to say is I'm sorry yeah. um, that you you had even had to hear that, like that had gone yeah. on. I mean, um, I, where yeah. 
to a place that's supposed to be safe for you guys. Yeah. Especially that being that you're just children. You my, know what I mean? Yeah. My guess is that it's like one of the older grades who are more well, like Yeah, we're not going to make assumptions. Yeah. But never because I, I'm just saying because I haven't witnessed anything like that in In your younger, immediate group. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. I mean, I mean. There could be, but I haven't seen it. Yeah. I would just. <sighs> so God loves you. God loves melanated children. Oh, I know that. I mean, <laughs> um, regardless of what we are facing in this area, uh, in this body we're in, God, God still is good. I just mm -hmm. don't want you to be. I don't want you to feel how I felt in the past. Like, what do you mean? Um, God, how can you let this happen? You know, how can people that wear your name, bear your name, behave in such yeah, I was thinking the same manner? Thing. And I got, you know, to a point where I was so angry that I just, I wanted nothing to do with Christians. Mm -hmm. um, but to remember that the, a precious gift, aside from him giving his son to us, a gift that God gave to every single human being is choice. Yeah. And will. Mm -hmm. a free will. So, like, he cannot take that away. Because that's how good he is. Mm -hmm. um, so if someone is making decisions that are just bad, not just for themselves, but for the people around them, um, that's on them. That's on their head. Yeah. And God gives each person a choice. And we each have a choice to make. And that mm -hmm. is the choice that person made that night or tonight. And... Um, there's there's nothing you can do. Just remember, regardless of how other people behave, God is good. It mm -hmm. has nothing to do with him. Yeah. We all have choices to make. Yep. But know that you are loved. Mm -hmm. And melanated children are loved. Yeah, I understand that. Mm -hmm. I, I know God has nothing to do with that. I mean, that's... I don't, I don't think I'm struggling with that. I'm struggling with the fact that it's like... This is more like human like i'm not mm -hmm. thinking this has anything to do with the spirit even though some of it does but like it's spiritual i'm saying like i'm thinking like interaction between humans not like god doesn't love such and such i don't know like what i was saying is the way i took it is like if god loved me then he would protect me from this nonsense yeah but he can't control what other people do right yeah yeah so i don't think it's he that. can but he i don't yeah he can, but yeah he can. yeah <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm not struggling with that. It's more like, I don't know. What? It doesn't seem fair to those kids who've been through it or whatever. It doesn't. But who do you look to to make it right? God. But, right. Yeah. And if, if it continues, it seems like he's not, right? Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Regardless of what happens, God is good. And um, know that you are loved and you are accepted by him. Mm -hmm. And... um that's to all your friends that have, that will deal, have dealt, and are dealing with these, Racial like, hateful, like, speech, hateful attitudes and action towards yeah. them. It's, it's sad, and I just hope parents, you know, just like, you know, melanated parents speak to their children about, um possibility of interaction with the cops yeah. i would hope that caucasian parents are speaking to their children about how to treat a melanated person yeah why we don't say those words towards yeah it's those like, people it's a some not all i'm not yeah. saying all i'm not <laughs> grouping everybody together but mm -hmm. yeah I don't know, like as a I definitely was not expecting this to be <laughs> to hear this happen yeah. I, that I, happened after you left, like was not at all accepting expecting it. Uh -huh. So this is gonna be interesting to you know, talk to your dad about. Yeah. Oh, well, but what I, my, my point is like now I'm starting to realize that being a melanated person is hard. Like it's being different isn't easy. Like it, I never used to hit me that way, but now it does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, being different in whose eyes? Other people's eyes. 
but some Caucasian people. Well, when I was in Africa, I didn't know I was different. <laughs> exactly. What I'm saying is, it's just where you are. Mm -hmm. You're not different. Um, well, I mean, your environment just here. tells you you're different. People yeah. in your environment, but you're not. You're you're human. <laughs> I, know. I know. I'm not. I'm, I'm not ashamed of that or anything. I'm just saying, like being different in the where I'm living. I don't know. I, right. I, it I, is difficult. Yeah. Yeah. It's difficult living here, being melanated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We need a move. <laughs> I'm with you on that one. <laughs> no, I mean, it's everywhere. So we need to learn how to deal. Um, mm -hmm. And we need to just, just continue to pray that God will give us the strength. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyways. Oh, we, I was, we were not planning for that to go that long. Yeah. Um, I wasn't expecting all of that, but. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go because I am hungry. I worked hard at the gym. Mm -hmm. Ellie's hungry. I got to go, y'all. Keep looking up. <laughs> 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 All right, Ellie, let's eat, baby girl. Let's eat. <laughs>